What's up guys? Welcome back for another thrift with me in New York City. Today Spencer and I are going to go thrifting downtown. I'm really excited. We were here about a week ago so I don't have too many high hopes but we are going to go to a Goodwill that we don't always go to. So I am excited to check it out but if you are new to my channel my boyfriend Spencer and I own a luxury resale website where we buy and sell luxury clothing, shoes, bags and accessories. Yeah everything you can think of and we do get most of our stuff from clients but we do like to go thrifting is kind of just a hobby of ours it's also how we started our business and we just have a lot of fun and you can really find some amazing gems in New York City so I hope that you guys enjoy this thrift with me and let's head in also it's so nice today I think it's like 62 out Spencer's dress very nautical very cool sweater I think where'd you get this beacons very cool but it feels so good out it's so nice to not have to wear a coat all right, first off of the day is Goodwill. I feel like we never come to this location. We were saying we wanted to look in the window to see what kind of shoes they have. These are mango, but they're kind of cool. Definitely a little funky. I guess the rest are just Nike. These look like they would be Ghani or something. Aren't these cool? Yeah, they do look like. I think we have a pair of boots from her Ghani boots. It'll look like that. We'll have to ask to see them. Very cool. They also have a display over here. We saw when we were driving by, the mannequins are all wearing frames. Very artsy. <laughs> Spencer just walks over with this hoodie that I'm so excited about. I have wanted this hoodie for a long time. They came out with these when COVID first started. So cute. You guys know I love Talentless. Really? I could just wear it oversized. Spencer's trying to take it already. We're doing really well so far. Nothing extremely exciting, but just good finds. All right, so I have a pretty full cart. I just finished going through dresses. I didn't find anything amazing, but I did find quite a few pieces. One being this Wilfred Aritzia dress. I thought it was super cute. I love like the tie detail. I thought it was good for the upcoming season. And then I did get a Lily Poulter dress. I don't always pick this up unless it's pretty cheap. And I thought the style was kind of cool. It's almost metallic. I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera. And then it's an embellished collar and then or not collar but neckline and then what else did i get i have a couple alice and olivia dresses this one's just kind of like a blue and black pattern this one is a strapless millie dress i thought this was really pretty it would have been nice actually it's a jumpsuit i'm realizing it's not a dress but i thought this would have been nice for valentine's day with a pair of like black heels or booties Let's head over and see what Spencer's finding. Hello. Hey. What you got? I didn't find much. Found um, this jacket. That's Laura Piana. Nice, Laura Piana blazer. material blazer. <laughs> this one. Oh, that's a nice sweater. Nice yeah. Lululemon sweater. And it's not even the newer tag, so I guess nobody is able to find this. Yeah, I really like the color. How much are sweaters? Do you know? Like $8? 8 or 10 also I wanted to show this I found it on a new rack coming out I'm pretty much getting it just because I like the color it's a brand super down which they sell in revolve but it's just one of the like lower end brands for revolve it's still like a hundred dollar sweater probably but I thought the color was really nice for spring it's like a pretty mint green also good for st. Patrick's Day All right, very excited about this find. It's a Lululemon sweatshirt, but it's got like one cold shoulder, so it's gonna be really hard to show you, but it's like almost brand new. It's so freaking nice. I wish it was a little smaller. I would keep it. All right, we're about to check out, but I wanted to show you guys what Spencer found. I'm probably not gonna say this correctly. I think it's, it's hard to get out of the turtleneck. It's a sweater, but it's Mansur Gabriel. I actually had a bag from at the runway of this brand. They have really nice stuff. And he found this like red cable knit sweater in the men's section, which is it's super cashmere. awesome. Oh, it's cashmere. Even better. What's this? So Spencer and I know everything because these are Ghani boots. They're $50, but thankfully purple is 40% off today. So I think we're gonna get them. They're like brand new, which is awesome. 
actually mind blown at how good we did, you guys. I don't think we've ever left that store with this much stuff. We honestly usually skip that location, but today we got two big bags plus a pair of boots. <laughs> We just got so lucky. Spencer forgot to pay for parking. He always does it on his phone, but he'll wait till we're like down the block just so we have a few minutes extra because you can only pay for, I think it's up to like two, two hours. hours. Yeah. Um, so anyways, he always waits, but then he ended up forgetting because we were busy vlogging. Um, so anyways, we got back to the car though, and thank God we didn't have a ticket. So now we kind of get to park there a little bit longer because now it's like we just paid to park. So. Now we have like two hours, but yeah. I don't think I said we're actually on our way to Beacon's Closet. I feel like we usually do pretty good here, don't yeah. you think? Decent, at least. I just can't get over this weather, so I don't know. Hopefully we find some stuff. I know they had a sale a few weeks ago, so we'll see. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what I found. My first obsession is this Tanya Taylor awesome cardigan. It's one of the coolest pieces I feel like I've ever seen from this brand and it's new with tags. So definitely want to get that. And then I need to do a little more research on this, but All Saints leather items always do really well, like their jackets. But this one's a leather dress, which I've never seen before. So I'm kind of excited to look it up and see how it does. And then I am so excited about this find. It's an Hervé Leger. New with, dress, new with tags dress, it's so pretty. Their stuff is so nice, but um, it was a really good deal for new with tags. And Spencer also found a pair of shoes. Mm -hmm. And then we're kind of deciding on this Tory Burch dress. It's like wool, but it's kind of out of season, so I don't know. I wanted to show you guys this dress because it's really cool. It's Alexander McQueen, it's a little too much, especially since it's as is, but it's this really cool like gray patchwork hoodie dress. I feel like it'd be really comfy, but I don't think I'm gonna get it, it's just very cool. I'm surprised somebody would donate this. Or not donate, I guess sell it. So update, we just left Beacons. I probably didn't get too many clips in there because it was so freaking crazy. I think because it's nice out, all of the like college kids went and it was so packed. I was getting cut off several times, which if you guys go thrifting often, you know how annoying it is to like constantly be getting cut off when you start going down an aisle. And in this case, it's not even like long aisles. It's like small circular racks. Mm -hmm. And then you're also like, getting hit like even just trying to check out somebody bumped into me and like pushed me over like this like three or four times while we were checking out but we ended up leaving with only like four things i think i pretty much showed you guys everything we got but we just drove over here to buffalo exchange we're gonna head in yesterday is when they changed their sale from 25 percent off to 50 percent off so we're gonna go in and hopefully they'll have some leftover inventory obviously it's like a day later and then i'm probably gonna need a coffee after this because i'm getting a little tired spencer needs a bathroom i could also go for a water because it's actually pretty freaking hot and it was hot in the last store too yeah, it's very hot. It was just overall uncomfortable i don't know what it's going to be like in buffalo exchange so we'll see let's head let's in go. If we can find anything on the sale rack, it doesn't look like it's very big. So I just found this in the dresses and it's labeled as a dress, but I'm pretty sure it's like a little trench coat. We actually have this in a different color, I'm pretty sure, but I thought the black was really nice and it's a size extra extra small, but I find that actually does pretty well with Aritzia. Also, I didn't have much luck on the sale rack, but I did find this Sandro dress. It's 42 but it would be half off, so let's let me get 21. Um, I think it is silk though, so I honestly might do a little research and just make sure it. I normally wouldn't like to pay this much for Sandro because I find that Sandro mage kind of sit a little bit for us, but I think it's a pretty cool dress and if it's silk, I may go ahead and look it up. All right, so we're actually about to head out. We did pretty well. I mostly found just a lot of dresses, only a couple things that were half off, but my favorite find so far is this Zimmerman strapless dress. It's so pretty. I haven't really looked at the material yet, but I'm almost 100% sure it's silk. So I'm very excited and I'm also surprised that they didn't mark it up. So 
This is 100% going home with me, and I wish I had the patience to go through skirts, but I feel like it's the hardest thing to do because I feel like they're always falling off the hanger whenever I try and see what the label is. This looks like it would be Tibby, though. The whole asymmetrical thing going on. It's cute. Finished up at Buffalo. Now about to go get a coffee. We're gonna go to Whistle and Fizz. We were here one other time. It's really good. Um, I think I got like an ice mocha and honestly it tasted like a chocolate milk. So probably gonna get the same thing again, but I think overall we did pretty well. Yeah, like it wasn't the best trip ever, but I would say it was definitely worth coming. I think we do you still wanna go to one more store, go to, yeah, we'll go to another Goodwill and then probably head home. freaking good does this look you guys I'm telling you if you guys ever come near NYU or like um, what's the park here why can't I think of it Washington Square Park you have to take a quick little walk over to Whistle and Fizz they have the best coffee so we're back in the car Spencer just got out to go to the restroom um, but I was just sitting here thinking how I feel like I have such a love-hate relationship with nice days in New York City. Obviously, a nice day is great for the obvious. I mean, it just like feels better outside. It's like nice to go for a walk. But when it comes to like driving in the city and even just like walking around, especially if you're near like a park or I don't know anything else, there are just so many people. And I feel like that's when the crazies come out. I mean, obviously at night it's worse, but like... I don't know, I just feel like there are so many people and you would think everybody would be in a good mood because the weather is so nice, but I don't know. I feel like people today are just in a grumpy mood. But yeah, I don't know. I just feel like I have a love-hate relationship. If we're staying home and gonna just like walk around Brooklyn, I absolutely love like a sunny day. But whenever we come in the city and it's nice out, it is so much more stressful because the amount of people, I swear, multiplies. It's like, I don't even know. People are just like coming out of the woodworks. Like they're just coming out of the bricks. I have no idea. <laughs> We always get the luckiest parking here. I have no idea how, but look at this, guys. Literally right in front of the Goodwill store. It's the best. All right, so I was showing Spencer what I just found in the women's. It's like an Eaton. I think it's like a gingham kind of pink and white button down shirt. Other than that, I'm not really finding much. Pretty much this is all I found. It's like an intermix blouse, nothing too exciting. And then I don't know, I did find these jeans, but I don't know if I'm gonna get them. They're revise. They have like a little detail here at the bottom, but nothing too awesome. I don't know. One thing I've noticed is I feel like this Goodwill in particular has started marking up stuff that they used to not, like this French Connection dress is now $26 and I have no idea why. I feel like they used to honestly not mark up that much here at this location, but lately it's like every other thing is marked up. Hopefully this rag and bone dress isn't. <laughs> oh, it is, and they want $30. Hard pass. One thing I've been trying to do is be more conscious of what I'm buying. Like now that it's starting to become spring, I'm mostly trying to focus on like shorts and dresses instead of buying too many sweaters and coats. I mean, I'll still go through them and pick them up, but I always head to like the warmer weather or whatever's in season first, just so that our closet and our website is full of stuff that people are currently buying rather than stuff they're not gonna be getting for another six to eight months. Okay, so I think this is gonna be a wrap. We seem to not be finding much else. We just have a few things, so probably gonna head to the checkout. We don't seem to be bringing out too much stuff. They've brought out a couple new racks, but not finding much on there either. Okay, so I guess this is gonna conclude our thrifting for the day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed spending it with us. I feel like we did pretty well. Definitely started out strong and then slowly just went downhill. We ended up leaving this last door with only one item. We ended up putting the others back. I feel like they just weren't great things to have. So I don't know. I feel like it's just such a nice day. So many people are out thrifting and mm -hmm. it's kind of just been picked through at this point. It's already 
4 40 p.m so we're gonna go ahead and head back but i hope you guys enjoyed this thrift with me give a thumbs up if you did and i will see you guys in my next vlog bye see ya. she's a mona lisa everyone's like